What's up guys? Today I'm working on hooking up the auxiliary hydraulics on my excavator. I purchased this bucket. It's a tilt bucket. I got it from Mongo Attachments um, and I ordered some parts to be able to get it hooked up. This is what I have going on here. I purchased this diverter and my plan is to uh, just disconnect this line that's going to the thumb and then install this diverter in its place and the reason why I want to do this is I don't want to disconnect the thumb every time I want to use this bucket you know this bucket's made for for grading and and doing ditches I mean you could do a number of things with it but I, I want to have the option to be able to use the thumb um, so that way once this is hooked up I could just simply switch this lever redirect the uh, the hydraulic flow and I could go back and forth between the thumb and the bucket. You can see I got some tape here. This is uh, this is for the threads. Um, the threads that are NPT, which are these like tapered threads, you always want to use tape on. The the hydraulic fittings, they don't need it. Um, these these will self seal. You just tighten it up, and it'll seal. But uh, the tapered threads, NPT threads, you want to use the tape. I didn't put this one on. You can see they use white tape. You want to use the yellow because that's what's uh, made for oil and stuff. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and, and start getting this hooked up. And uh, I'll show you how it goes. Alright, when you're taping these threads up, one thing you want to keep in mind is I always keep the tape down about two threads. This way I don't risk any of this tape getting into the hydraulic system. Um, you know, I, 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 a lot of guys say they don't use tape with hydraulics, um, but these these NPT threads really need it. Otherwise, it, it's going to leak on you. So you just keep it down a couple of threads, and, and you should be fine. I'm going to just tighten this coupler on. And then I'm going to end up twisting this pipe so it's out some, you know, so I have enough room to to thread on that diverter. There we go. I'm just gonna give these two clamps. Doesn't need to be too loose, just enough so I can turn this. It's not going to be enough room to get this thing all the way around. What am I talking about? All right, this pipe has to come off. One thing you want to do with all these new parts, this diverter, this diverter, the coupling, and all that, is uh, use some uh, use your air compressor to blow them out because there could be some remnants of machining inside there, and you definitely don't want that to get into your hydraulic system. Let me see. So that's that's pretty tight. I'm gonna grab a wrench and just snug this down a little bit more, and this works out well because the way this pipe is flared out, this is gonna be flared out from the machine, and this will be sticking out just a little bit, so I have enough room to get my hoses on both sides. So I got this hard line back into brackets. I got the diverter screwed in. Just want to show you. This is what I was talking about earlier about the thread difference. You see these threads right here? That's a hydraulic fitting. You can see right here in this hose, you tighten those two together, they, they make a seal. It's not going to leak. That's the difference between these threads. These, that's why these need the tape. Um, as you start screwing this in, it starts to seal, but it doesn't seal all the way down these threads like how this does um, since these are tapered. So that's why you want to put the, uh, the tape on these, uh, on these type of threads. Uh, one thing you got to be careful of is you got to do a lot of like test fits. Um, before I got everything, like all these elbows tightened up and these quick connects tightened up, 
I uh, raised this bucket all the way back as far as it can go. And I also manipulated the thumb up and down. I wanted to make sure nothing was going to get kinked, nothing was going to get pinched. Um, I had to reroute this a little bit, which was pretty easy. I just loosened up this fitting and I was able to spin it to where I needed it to go. I also added these, these hose protectors here. Um, I, I like this stuff. I just started using it. You can order this, you know, right online. One thing I'll point out, you can see this is, it says three quarter inside diameter. Um, I think you need to just go a quarter inch up for whatever size hose you're working with, or you can measure it. But when it says three quarter inside diameter, it's talking about inside diameter of this stuff. Um, cause these hoses are half inch lines. All right, that worked great. Now I'm gonna switch it over to the thumb. check it out it's hard to tell because I made a little bit of a mess and there's hydraulic fluid everywhere but these all look pretty good here I think there's a drip on this side let me see oh yep yep that one's leaking you can see it right there I'm gonna have to tighten this up a little bit but the rest of them look pretty good well anyways thanks for watching guys as usual please give the video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. If you have any questions or, uh, or comments, please leave them below. I'll get back to you as, as soon as I can. Thank you.